Mr. Travis here from the Bomb School of Art. Today, we're going to draw some cartoons and we're going to make some fun springtime cards. Everybody knows what a card is. We're going to make some greeting cards uh, while we're all making art at home uh, these days. Sending something in the mail might be fun uh, to your loved ones. We've had a lot of holidays recently. Um, let's see, we've got, we just went through Valentine's Day, Groundhog Day, um, St. Patrick's Day recently. So we can send some belated greetings to people, but we've also got some other holidays coming up. We've got Easter. Uh, we've got, well, spring just happened, so we could just do a basic fun spring card with flowers, uh, the sun, baby animals, that kind of thing. Uh, we can also do a Mother's Day card. That's coming up in a couple months, right? Now, my area of expertise is cartooning and drawing. And uh, I want everybody to know that no matter what their background is in art, that drawing cartoons is a simple and fun way uh, for them to create art. You can do it at home. All you need is a piece of paper and, and a pencil. You don't need anything complicated. Um, the tools that we're going to be using today, um, we've got a glue stick, we've got scissors, pencil eraser, some paper. Uh, I'm using colored construction paper and some just white basic paper. But if you just have the white paper, really you can make a card out of that. You don't need anything else other than that and some tools to draw with. Um, everybody knows cards are a folded sheet of paper, but they can be any size and shape and dimension you want them to be in. They don't even really need to be folded in half either. Uh, but that's just the way I'm making them today. Uh, you can fold them like a hamburger bun or a long ways like a hot dog bun. You can have your card be horizontal. You can have it be vertical. Um, I decided that my card was going to be a uh, portrait vertical uh, and open up like a... So you start off by folding your piece of paper. And um, I drew my drawings on white paper, cut them out, and then... Um, Glue stick them on with some easy glue here. I also cut out some grass uh, in a strip, some added green construction paper, and then cut little slits in it to make to make the Easter grass at the bottom. Um, we're going to talk about all the different things that we can draw on our card, and we're going to start simply and in a very basic way, and I'll show you how easy it can be. Now, I tell all my students that every drawing that you do can be broken down into smaller parts and um, cartoons are just like that as well. We start everything by drawing basic shapes or at least some kind of a shape. Um, we've got some little bit more organic ones like this teardrop and peanut shaped. But every kind of shape can be turned into a cartoon character and uh, lots of these characters are seen at this time of the year, especially this guy who brings candy and eggs. Um, but bunnies can be more of a complex cartoon, but they can also be drawn very simply using just ovals and circles. I've got some bunnies down here that are made out of other shapes like triangles and teardrops. And I've even got one here that's made out of the letter B. So you see how the one bulge makes his face and the bottom bulge makes his belly. I've got some leprechauns here for St. Patrick's Day made out of this kind of trapezoid shape. And we've got one made out of kind of like an egg shape. But they can be made out of these peanut shapes and these teardrop shapes and everything can be turned into a character. And that's that's what I have fun doing. I like drawing different shapes and seeing what I can make out of it. I teach my students that if you use your imagination, you can turn a shape into just about anything. Um, this heart shape can be turned into this little heart character guy. It can be turned into a butterfly. You can use hearts for butterfly wings. Uh, a little shamrock guy here and a four-leaf clover. Um, and I use this oval shape to make the crock of gold and, and this Easter basket here and, and this little leprechaun sliding down the rainbow. Um, but we're going to start with some basics. And uh, I like to tell people two things when they're a beginner drawer, and that's um, to think big and to think light. And what I mean by that is when, you, when I tell people to think big is I tell people to think about what the biggest shape is in the thing they're going to draw. So, for instance, to draw this bunny's head, the biggest shape is 
the large part of his head is that oval there. And the biggest part of this chicken and egg is that teardrop shape. So I want people to think big so that way they know that they have enough room on their paper to fit it all in. That's the composition part of it. You're trying to plan it out and you're using these shapes as guidelines. The other thing I tell them is they should definitely think lightly. They should draw light lines before they commit to the detail and add their dark um, defining lines, like their ink lines or their, or their dark pencil lines. If you draw lightly, um, it'll be easier to erase in the long run. Now for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to use this pink marker, but you can use whatever kind of light color you'd like, or even just your pencil and go really light. Um, that way erasing will be a minimum um, if you plan it out and sketch very lightly. So I can start with a basic shape, like an oval here, add some upside down U's for the bunny's head. We're going to draw the Easter Bunny, spoiler alert, little bow tie. It's almost like two teardrop shapes here, or two triangles with a little knot in the middle. I'm going to draw a funny nose on him. Big smile. Now, if you notice, this center shape is almost like an emoji. You can start that way if you'd like. Draw your favorite emoji shape, and then draw the features on the bunny on the outside. This is a silly bunny. Your bunny can have all sorts of different personality. Just depends on you and your imagination, right? I'm gonna give some eyebrows to him. Now I just planned it out with this light color. The objective then for my final drawing is to use a darker color on top. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just gonna use this black marker. Now I've already planned out where I want to draw everything. So now I'm basically just using confident, and assured lines, being very purposeful and not sketchy at all. Very careful to trace over everything that I want to show in my picture. Treating those light lines as just guidelines. I can change and add more details as I want. Now, like I said, this does not have to be on a marker. If you want to do this in pencil, you follow the same steps, but just go lightly at first. There, we've got a silly cartoon. If you've got some coloring materials at home, like markers or color pencils or crayons, you can add color to your cartoons, to your, to your cards. I'm going to add some nice bright pink in there. Liven up this bunny a bit. Pretty cute, huh? Okay, flip it over. Cut it out. So now we're going to flip it over. And we're going to glue the glue all on the back. fast and you gotta cover it all before it dries, right? Yeah. Just a regular glue stick, right? Mm -hmm. You could use Elmer's glue or some kind of craft glue. You only want to cut about halfway, right? Look. It looks good. So we're going to glue it on. 